So hi everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me. Today, I want to settle disputes. Today is dispute settling day. This is another dispute settling video between Ghana and Nigeria. So today, I'm going to be listing the actors that you may have, not actors. In this video, I'm going to be listing the celebrities that you have taught a Ghanaian that are actually that are actually nigerians and i'm also going to list the actors and celebrities you have taught are nigerians that are actually Ghanaian. if you're ready for it smash the like button and let's get straight into the video you know, thank you my viewers because in one of the videos where i talked about this promising to do this someone someone sent me names of two people that he want to know where they are from uh, the first person the person wrote about was uh, patata and then the second person was belinda FAP. So in this video, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be including them to the list, original list I had. But um, I didn't write anything down, okay? But I just know in my head that there's a lot of confusion. Mm? You know, between this, I mean, when it comes to these names, these celebrities, there's a lot of arguments. Oh, she's Ghanaian. Oh, she's Nigerian. Oh, she's this. So today in this video, I'm going to help clear that and settle this dispute for good if i hear him after this you go collect let's go number one on the list is yvonne okoro as i'm calling their name i'm going to try to leave their pictures on the screen so we are starting with yvonne okoro her full name is yvonne chinyere okoro she is born to a nigerian father by a ghanaian mother and she was born in ghana in Ghana here, she's nationalized as, in Ghana here, she's from Koforidia, all right? So in Nigeria, she's from Anambra State. If you didn't know this before, know it now and know peace, all right? Yeah, she's a Nigerian, right? But she was born in Ghana and she's half Nigerian, half Ghanaian. So this confusion, I'm done with it. I don't want here, if I hear him again, you go call it, Okay. So let's move to the next person. The next on our list is Christabel Eke. <sighs> For me personally, when I heard of that name, like when I heard that name, Christabel Eke, I was very confused. Yet she has, she was, li she lives in Ghana. She claims Ghanaian, like you get it. Then where did you get Eke from? Because I know for sure that the Igbo people of Nigeria and even where I come from, Mukele people do BS Eke. So waiting happened. And then subsequently, when we got to know her, when she started granting interviews, you know, I see that interviewers were as confused and curious as I was. So, and then she opened up that she is partly Igbo, Nigeria, and partly um, Ghanaian from Accra. All right, so I hope that that is corrected today. You know that Christabel, so today you know that the beautiful Christabel AK is half Ghanaian, half Nigerian. All right, thank me down there at the comment section. Okay, so we are going to move to, I've talked about Ahida Basi, right? But let me just briefly talk about her in case you missed that video where I talked about her. Let me re-say it again here in this one. Hida is from Akwaibom State full-time. Her father, her mother are all, <clears throat> are all Akwaibomites, all right? She is from Southern Nigeria, full-time Nigerian, okay? So no arguments. I know the mistake that happened that time when why a lot of Ghanaians at that time where she was doing the guinness book of cooking the doing the uh, record-breaking cooking uh, cook a ton a lot of people were confused about her identity about where she's from due to her name because some Ghanaians do be a basi okay so that is why corrected she's a nigerian 100 percent but these people i have mentioned and the ones i'm still going to mention later they are all working together as a team to bring Africa to the world. They don't have this narrow mind that, if you have a narrow mind, you will never grow, okay? Especially in the entertainment industry. So they are not looking at that. They are looking at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture can only be achieved when you come together. 
All right, so let's move on to the number fourth person on the list. And I'm not holding anything, but I'm doing this for my brain. Mm, all that I can remember. So we are going to be looking at um, John Dumelo. I never knew that people were thinking John Dumelo is a Nigerian. Some were saying he's a Nigerian from Nasarawa State. <laughs> Some said from Benue or something, something. Okay, so... John Dumelo is a Ghanaian, full-time Ghanaian, full-blooded Ghanaian, okay? He was in Nigeria for the movie. You know, during that era of collaboration, he was there. And what really matters is the bigger picture for these people. They have open minds. They are looking at the bigger picture. And that bigger picture can only be achieved when you collaborate, all right? So let's move on to the next the next on our list is Pat Atta. Patrick Uchena Atta was born in Anambra State. He's from Anambra State. Even myself, it was difficult for me to believe. I thought he's from Kogi or Benue State with that name Atta. But he's an Ibo guy. Who gonna question why Atta? We all can't, but he's an Ibo man. So now you know he's not Ghanaian. Okay, this particular person, one of my Ghanaian viewer have asked me to talk about because that name yes i know ghanaians do be a atta but this particular patata is a full nigerian is an Igbo guy from anambra state i hope that you will like this video based on this information because eh, it's only me that have to do this so the next on our list is belinda efab all right belinda is from cross river state of nigeria where i move my very self is from, <laughs> she's a southern bay from south, south Nigeria. She's from Cross River State of Nigeria, okay? So now you know, she is a full Nigerian. Her mother and father are all from Cross River State. I hope this is corrected. Now you know. So I don't know, if you have any other person you're confused, let me know. But before we end it, you know Mercy Johnson, hey! Uh -huh. The next on our list is Mercy Johnson. Uh -huh. In case you want to know where Mercy is from. <laughs> I don't know. When you ask me, I'm like this. Hey. Hey. Hey, I don't know where she's from. Okay. For now, the case is still in court until the court resolves that. Until she gives us a DNA test. We do not know where she comes from. But she's an African. <clears throat> so... For a lot of people who said she have said she's Ghanaian, I never saw that interview. I can't speak for her right now. Before I used to vouch for her. I had to say, hey, stop it. This lady, this baby is Nigerian. But now I cannot. So I don't know if she is where she's from for now until she come out and address it. For now, Mercy is African. <laughs> okay. No disrespect, man. Okay. But for now, I don't know. Another person we are going to ask, though, known, this person is uh not really for me a lot of people used to uh, the next on our list is frank atos yeah i'm going to leave his picture here he's one of those african superstar i it took me time to know that this guy is from liberia this guy is a liberian he's my man this guy is my man my man I didn't know that he's from Liberia until recently. So he is known, he's not a Ghanaian. A lot of us in Nigeria have always thought that Frank Atus is a Ghanaian, but he is not a Ghanaian and he's not a Nigerian. He is Mame. Okay, if you know Mame, Mame is Mame. He is from Liberia, okay? So now you know. All right, so I don't want to hear anything again. What about Whiskey? Whiskey is Ghanaian, right? <laughs> what of Chatawale? Chatawale is from Cameroon. Okay, so uh, joke apart, next time we're going to do this. If you have any confusion, anyone that you want me to tell you where they're from, let me know down there at the comment section. But the important thing and all the lessons we need to let take from them is the collaboration spirit that they have all right because to achieve the bigger picture you need to collaborate with other people to get that to happen and you need to open your heart and allow people to you know minorate in your society your country so the rest are of course the other people you know davido is a nigerian whiskey and all that but 24 7 
if they want to go home away from home, they are in Ghana. I rest my case here. I don't want to see this fight again. The only fight that you must keep alive is the jail of rice and the Afro beat war. Please, you see that one there? I need it because it will help our people to both countries who want to, you know, stand strong and be better than the rest. And at the end of the day, they are better than, you know, at the end of the day, they end up promoting the continent and not just Ghana or Nigeria. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that I will see you in my next one. Bye.